something just came in the mail today and we're going to be checking it out the clarity is getting a little uh a little upgrade in the charging department and let's check it out now so we are changing from this duo Cita charger and what we got in the box is a big surprise and we're going to be opening that up right now it's a lot heavier than this duo Cita. And this box comes from United Chargers in Canada. This unit is a Grizzle E level 2 charger, Avalanche Edition. Oh, there's a look at it, the Grizzle E. Made in Canada. Sorry for the background noise, guys. Live on a busy street. Now this is supposed to be a special edition. The Avalanche edition is comes in white. So what do we got in the box? We got the mounting brackets with the attachment screws. We got the um, cable management holder for the um, holding the connector. It's called the Easy EV Plug. So that's to mount on the wall so you can snap your connector into there. And we don't have any, there's really no bubble wrap per se, just around the cord. I mean the uh, plug-in connector. Now the units are well built and they are heavy. This is one heavy unit. You can tell they got some good copper in there. Copper is heavy. So this is the first look at the Grizzle E Avalanche Edition made in Canada. And look at the size of that massive cord. I'm telling you, this baby is heavy duty. You know, this cord here on this one was a lot bigger than the one that came with the Honda Clarity. But this one is even bigger. First looks at the Grizzle E. So... This box they showed on line running over it with a snow cat. Running over it with things. It's weather proof. Warning read owner's manual before use. Grizzle E 1424 EVS supply. Serial number blah blah blah. So those cables are massive. So I'm looking at mounting it right up here. That is my hopes. Their website, they showed that it had a white cable, but I guess they have since upgraded it to a black cable. I imagine it's probably a lot easier to get, get cables in black than white. So we're looking at putting it right here on the wall. Now some people have said this is a very short cable. So we've got a top mark in here, top mark in here with these inner fingers there they slide in the groove like that and then they they lock hopefully you can see that lock there how they unlock and they lock goes on the back of this unit just like that so we got some hardware here made in Canada even the holster is made in Canada so this is the hardware kit haven't even opened it up yet and it's sealed and it only came with three mounting screws and it needs to have four for that case 
But like I said, there was only three screws. Should have been four. That's a little minor disappointment there. So there is the Grizzly install. Just a little bit higher than eye level. And the cable is right down here below it. So here is the charge handle, Grizzle E, snaps in real easy. Clarity is completely charged up, so I don't expect it to do anything. But it did sit all night, so maybe it would take a little bit of a charge. So this would be the first time I tried this this handle in the Clarity because this handle fits a little bit snug compared to the factory one on this Duo Sita. So let me turn on, turn on the breaker here and see if the Grizzly is going to be happy. Well, we got the blue light, which means it's ready. And it's really bright, so you can see, you know, you don't have all the bells and whistles on this charger. You don't have, you know, the glowing lights, and you don't have all your readouts. But, you know, for the most part, I get that off of the Honda Clarity on the app. It tells me when it's charged and all the waiting times and if it's scheduled to charge later or not. So, let's take this over to the Clarity. Let's see how this cable unfolds. See how it goes here, guys. Now this is a premium cable. So, and I don't have to deal with being in a cold environment, so it should unroll pretty good. But being brand new, it is pretty flexible, but it's heavy. It is a heavy cord. 
Well, let's see. Well, it goes in the car nice and easy. Clicked in. So what if we do a... Climate control. We gotta lock it. And then we gotta hold down the climate control. There we go. We're going into climate control preconditioning. So the Honda is happy. There's a the green light on the Honda. That means we're using juice. And we got the green light flashing on the Grizzle E. Okay. So there's my Grizzly E charge setup. Everything looks to be happy. Now I'm going to have to go burn up some EV juice so that I can see if this thing will charge properly. So right now, I got a full tank of EV. A full tank of electrons. I'm gonna have to take this out and punch it a few times. Take a little long road around the block here. Right now I've got 49.7 EV range. And come back and see if this new charger is gonna start charging and stop charging properly. So I just returned from running around the block. I still have a full tank of EV, but I've dropped my range from 47, now 49 down to 42.8. So we're gonna check out this charger and see if it will bring it back up. Not only that, I wanna see how it shuts off. The Grizzle E has just finished charging up the Clarity. The Clarity indicator light just went off. The vehicle has a full state of charge. And now we have to monitor the 12 volt battery and see what happens. See this line on the far right that starts going down, 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 and it's a jagged kind of zigzag sawtooth style line. It continues on this screen going down. Well, right where it jumps up is when I disconnect my EVSE charging plug. Now my former charger charging plug system was keeping the pilot system awake and running the battery down. Well, so far the new charger is looking good. It's not keeping anything awake after the charging has stopped. The cord has been plugged in and the graph is looking straight as an arrow. All things are looking good. So most of the time, guys, I never had the battery go dead on my 12 volt battery system, mainly because Either you got in it soon enough and you never noticed it because you don't notice a slow cranking engine on a hybrid. The high voltage battery does all the cranking. So it's very seldom you either had a dead battery or the car would engage and, and run fines. So this trouble has been giving me a little bit of problem. I went on a trip and my battery went dead, but I didn't know why. And now I finally got it pinned down. I had to buy this battery uh, monitor that would monitor the battery and then I noticed that see I was charging the vehicle in the middle of the night like before I go to work early in the morning maybe two in the morning so of course it didn't sit plugged it sat plugged in before it charged but it never sat plugged in after it completed the charge so it wasn't really running the battery down most of the time except for the few exceptions that I left it plugged in so now that I was able to monitor it see what happened and pin it down and now I've isolated it to the charger and I'm sure it was on the um, pilot communication system it kept everything awake after everything was done now I noticed that sometimes my charger would say it was still charging and the car would say it's finished or the car would say it was charging and the charger would say it's finished but there was some sort of communication problem there anyway the Grizzle E is doing what it's supposed to do it is one robust charger if you don't need Wi-Fi, I would highly recommend this as the one to get. The case, the system, the cables, there is nothing cheap about this unit. The price is, is not expensively expensive compared to some of those ones that have a lot of nice polished plastic. I have to say, the eye candy is great. But if you want something that's robust, built like a tank, 
built uh, to last, to survive abuse, which of course you don't plan on running over it. I don't plan on running over it, but if you look at the videos for the Grizzly E, they really gave it some abuse and it still still came out okay. So this, I highly recommend this charger. Um, working good for me so far on day one, time will tell. Thanks for watching. Catch you guys on the next one.